Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Anissa and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and ring the bell. Everything I link to will be linked to down below in the description. Also, don't forget to check me out on my link tree. The link will be down below in the description. So I'm just going to glue on some stiletto tips using KDS glue. And after that, I will be right back. So after the tips are all glued on and dried, I'm just removing the little part that meets your nail, like the little hump right there, because I'm going to be doing um, ombres. So for that, you do not want that to be there because it makes it really hard to blend. Like you have to get over that hump. And then once you do that part, it's always higher than the rest. So I'm just going ahead and removing that with my drill. And I think my drill is at like 5,000 RPMs or something like that. But I'm using a regular um, 180 grit sanding band. Yes, it's on five. And this is a net like Lucy drill. I really love this drill. And after I'm done with this, it's gonna be time for application. Sorry, my hair is in the way, but now that we're done with that, the acrylics I'm gonna be using is Sailor Moon by Bomb Nails. And the nude I'm gonna be using is Peach Buns by Bomb Nails. And the final Bomb Nails product I'm going to be using is called uh, Potion. And then this is Clear by JC Beauty Concepts. And then here is what Potion looks like. And um, Sailor Moon is more pink. And then Potion is more purple, I believe. But I'm just adding a thin clear base layer. And this acrylic brush is a size 12, I believe, in acrylic creamery. Well, it's from acrylic, uh, from acrylic Creamery, and I really enjoy this um, brush. I think I said that before, but now I'm using um, JC Beauty Concepts Monomer as well. Also, um, I do have a French in one of the nails, and then like the rest are pretty much ombre, and then the pinky is solid. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys um, watch. actually wanted to um reshape these notes a little bit before i put this clear base layer on because once you put the clear base layer on you can kind of do anything after that so if you have to go like, to the bathroom or anything like that you really can but um i really wanted to shape these notes just a little bit tighter but i really couldn't because it was wiggling around too much um so i just decided to go on top and be very careful and it worked for the most part, but I just couldn't get all the other fingers as sharp as I could um, the thumb. And I really just reshaped and reshaped and reshaped for a really, really long time. And um, nothing really happened. So this thumb was a failed French because I couldn't find my other French cutter. So I was just like, yeah, no, because it wasn't even coming out right. That's why it looks kind of lumpy. So I went ahead and just put the glitters on and built it up like it was just like a... Um, like blocked out um ombre not blocked out ombre a blocked out nail bed pretty much 
meaning just the nail bed is covered in the nude that's it and then put the glitters on top now for this finger i chose to do a french for whatever reason i wanted to try and sculpt it out but the consistency i used was way too wet and then i waited too long to reshape the actual french part so i really could have pushed it back right there if i would have pushed it back then it probably would have given me the shape that i wanted to but this was just a little too round for me but i will go in and reshape this after i'm done like well pretty much after this nail is dry i'm gonna go ahead and reshape it um and i will be encapsulating all these nails so i'm gonna let you guys watch Okay, so the nails are looking better, but I wanted to go ahead and add some gold leaf because I always remember that I have this, but I never use it. Like it's, I used it like once. And then after that, I just never use it again. And it's gold leaf from Amazon. It comes in a three pack. It comes in a bronze, this gold and a silver. And it's like, it used to be $12. I don't know how much it is anymore, but I just went ahead and stuck little tiny pieces of it. Um, I was trying to break it up, but I was trying to get like little pieces of it and just stick it in there. And as you see, I didn't go in and scoop any of it out. Just from me like lifting up the lid, the tiny pieces flew out, which is what I wanted because I only wanted a little bit of it. So just because like the glitter is really pretty and you only need like hints of the gold leaf, like it's just a few of them floating in there. But because on all the nails, it looks like it's a lot. But anyways, so it's kind of difficult for me to break them up for, for some reason, like it would, instead of it breaking up, it would just kind of get bigger and bigger and bigger, but it wouldn't break, which is kind of weird. But um, the gold leaf added a really cute element to it. And I could have used silver as well, but there was already kind of some gold in um, Potion and uh, Sailor Moon. I don't know if she still sells these glitters on her um, website, but just in case she does, I. Of course, because I use like peach buns and all that, her link will be down below in the description. So I started off with Sailor Moon for this one. Like you see, like this one is more pink and the other one is more purple. And um, I believe, yes, there's the little cutout hearts in there. But I bought this glitter a long time ago and I just wanted to do stiletto. That's the whole reason why I did this set. But I'm going to let you guys get back to watching.
also before i forget in my other video we talked about glitter fades versus glitter ombres this is definitely a glitter fade because the glitter is on top of the nude versus underneath but it still looks really really good um so i don't know if i'm gonna title this glitter fade or glitter ombre but i wanted to do a full solid nail this so as you saw i used a tiny bead dried it out so it wouldn't travel as far and then now i'm gonna do a full nail of the two glitters and the reason why I blocked my nail out is because as you can see in those little tiny gaps, how you can see through it, all that's going to do is give me like a little bit of like a concealer pretty much. It just blocks it out. So if you do see my, my nail, it's not my natural nail and it blends with the other fingers instead of it just being my bare nail underneath because I feel like to me it disrupts when you can see the natural nail and then the other and then you can see the nude on all the other fingers because then it's like one of these things is weird so that's why i did that and then after this finger is dry i think it's time to shape the french and then go ahead and complete that and then it'll be the encapsulation
there are all the acrylics again that i used so here i am showing you that it's a fine um drill bit so it's a fine tapered ceramic drill bit um from amazon and i'm going in and i'm sealing around the cuticle as well as getting up like removing any um lumps or bumps or just smoothing out the nail getting up any excess acrylic like just making sure it's separated from the um acrylic that's on my nail so i can go ahead and just pick it off with the nippers and i'm using a nut like you'll see a uh, dust collector behind me and the speed on my e-file is like anywhere from 10,000 to 13,000 um sometimes 15 it just really depends on what i'm doing and i just really want to get everything as smooth as possible and i want to go ahead and give it a light reshaping because i'm going to do muscle it with the hand file but because it's easier to kind of file it with the um, drill to avoid it popping off so quickly. And as you saw, I only um, showed a couple of the nails being encapsulated just because it's the same process. And I already let you guys watch me do the entire um, uh, acrylic application. But at the same time, I want to show you uh, me encapsulating. So it's not like um it didn't happen or anything like that but just so you can see how i specifically did it and i want to show you my um french nail because it was kind of like different compared to the rest of them um but yes i'm just smoothing everything out giving it um a better shape and after this i'm gonna go in with my hand file and i'm only gonna probably show you the thumb just because i can get it the sturdiest and it was kind of difficult for me to file these on camera so yes i'll be back after i'm done So after I'm done filing all the nails with the e-file, I'm going to go in with the hand file and I'm using a 8100 grit hand file. This is from Matt Like Lucy. And I switched between the 80 grit and the 100 grit because the 100 grit is softer. The closer you get to one, the coarser it is. And then, of course, the further you get from one, um, it's going to be a lot finer. So yes after i'm done hand filing i'm gonna go in with the buffer to remove any scratches um made by the hand file or the e-file but i'm not gonna buff it to where it's super super smooth because then the top coat will peel and now i'm going in with some acetone and i just put it on um, a lint-free wipe and i'm just wiping the nails down with acetone and after that's dried, I'm going in with my bling. So the reason why I wiped it on with the acetone is because it kind of melts that top layer and it makes it extremely clear, especially when you top coat underneath the nail, you can see right through everything. And this is the LGN or Lisette Joe Nails, Lisette's Joe Nails, I always just say Lisette, but um, this is her clear and AB box. I will leave the link to this box down in the description and you would typically want to use a hard gel or a bling gel or a resin or a nail glue to glue these on but i'm just using top coat and i promise you it will not hold so don't do this on somebody who you want the the crystals to stay on because it is not going to secure them down even after you fully cure and top coat around it it's just gonna 
pop right off so you're gonna need something more secure so after that i'm going to just top coat the nails like regular and this is acrylic creamery's top coat and i love it it's super clear it doesn't have a yellow cast and it just leaves the nails looking really really pretty and really shiny so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'm gonna apply some cuticle oil after this but stay tuned for the little reveal videos and all that so i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe comment share and ring the bell everything i link to will be linked to down in the description and i'll see you guys in my next one bye also when you do the underneath of the nails um you can do it like the same time as right now or you can like do like this you see how i'm doing it underneath and then flip your hands underneath and cure it that way so it just it, it depends but there it is and here's the cuticle oil it's from bomb nails and this came in a i think it's the let it snow bundle which was the christmas bundle and yeah i'll see you guys in my next one bye Thank you.